the other portfolio, like I mentioned in, in my last video, portfolios are for our schools and for as a supplemental to elevate your college application. There are two folds. One is to show that you are interest, you have interest in many things that you do. You are a well-rounded individual. And the other things that um, law school or pre-med colleges look for is students who do have a passion, who do have something that they love to do other than being a doctor, being a lawyer. Why is this important? This is vital information because to uh, colleges, to, who, to medical students, having a, a passion that they love to do on the side, it shows the medical schools that, that they have something that they can take their stress off. And this is very important for being a doctor. Doctor needs to, is a high pressured um, career. So having something that they love other than being a doctor or being a lawyer is to take the pressure off to actually bring balance to their life. So they love individual who has other interests. So if your child loves to be a doctor, make sure that other interest is also honed in. And this is a long life process. It's not just, oh, I'm going to stop them from art class now so that they can focus on their academics. It should be done at the same time because they, uh, while they are working on their academics, they can take time um, out of their uh, busy day to do art. It's a win-win situation. They learn art also are able to distress out of their busy day. And our students are actually, our kids are still kids. So one common thing that I think I see from a lot of students is how do they know what school they like? And how do they decide? How do they look for information on their official website? How to get the information that you want to distract, uh, actually um, find the information. I normally do a session with my students, uh, initial session to teach them how to view the college's official website. From very detailed, from all the way from their mission statement to um, the classes, to the teachers, um, I take them to explore their website with them together. So I think a lot of uh, students um, find this very beneficial because when you ask them, do this, it's not because student doesn't want to do it. It's because out of their busy schedule, when they looked at a website, they actually don't know how to do it. So that's why we take our part into making sure that student has the tools and has a guide to help them go through this together.